Kyla Odinga. But then scenes of people hanging around a family firm where Jeff Mwadi was buried and breathing a strong stench after his exhumation define their determination to get justice served for him. While they died under mysterious circumstances on the night of February 20, 20, uh, 22nd at Redwood Apartments in Kasarani in Nairobi, the exhumation was to facilitate further tests and exhumation, examination rather, sorry for that, of his body. Clement Masombo has the details. <laughs> After four hours of digging, the detectives retrieved the casket bearing remains of the 23-year-old interior designer Jeff Mwathi who died under mysterious circumstances at musician Lawrence Juguna, popularly known as DJ Fatso House. Mwathi was buried at the family's farm in Likia in Joro constituency in Nakuru County on March 3rd amid an outcry from the public which saw the Interior Cabinet Secretary Professor Kithure Kindiki order a fresh probe into the case. The Mugidi singer, popularly known as DJ Faso, had allegedly sought his services before they went club hopping and later to his Redwood apartments in Kasarani, in Nairobi on the night of February 22nd. Initially, it was alleged that Mwathi died by suicide when he jumped through the window from the 10th floor of the said apartment. Hii ni kasi ambayo inachukua muda kwa sababu wakati mwili wa binadamu unafukuliwa unafukuliwa kwa utaratibu ili wale wanaofanya hiyo kazi wasiweze kuguza ama kuongeza majeraha ama kuinterfere kwa njia yote The exhumation and conduct of fresh postmortem examination and collection of samples for various tests was supervised by senior detectives from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations Chief Government Pathologist Dr. Johansen Odor conducted a post-mortem examination on the remains in a makeshift facility set up next to the grave which has been under tight security. How Mwadi died remains a mystery with a repeat autopsy unable to shed light on the exact cause of his death. So this is a person who died because of very very severe injuries which uh, we need to look into. And uh, remember there were also some allegations which were, which were there flying around which uh, that's actually the main reason why we came here to also take care of those allegations. So other than postmortem, we take some samples which will help us in uh, analysis and uh, finding the truth of what led to the death of Jeff. Uh, madaktari watatengeneza a temporary mortuary ili waweze kufanya kazi yao na wakisha maliza then hiyo mwili pia itarudishwa kwa utaratibu na iwekwe vila uh, vile hiko detectives including DCI chief Amin Mohamed visited the house to reconstruct the scene including taking measurements of the window through which Mwadi is alleged to have jumped the family through their lawyer says all they want is justice for their kin our collective duty as i have stated let's assist them they are our friends they are our brothers they are our fathers so let's be friends to them isn't it so, so at least we make sure that justice for Jeff and family is finally found. We've taken samples for toxicological analysis. Uh, we want to know whether there were some toxins uh, involved or whether there are also any drugs or all that involved. So that now, when all these uh, samples come to us uh, from the lab, we'll sit down and analyze everything and come up with a conclusive result. Earlier Friday, there was a stalemate between police officers and a group of activists and family members who wanted the remains of Jeff to be taken to the mortuary for the post-mortem to allow them plan for another burial ceremony. However, the officers insisted that the orders they obtained from the courts only allowed them to exhume the body, conduct a post-mortem examination and rebury. Clement Masombo, KTA News. So now at the same time that the death toll from yesterday's Naivasha bus accident has now 